Hi and welcome to Keys Review. My name is Tom Quirk and today we'll be looking at the Modal Cobalt 86 Virtual Analog Synthesizer. So first of all I'm going to give you a brief look at the specifications, some demonstrations of the sound samples and giving you my views at the end. Okay so first impressions are that it has a beautiful design. The Modal feature a true 8 voice polyphony and we have two independent self-contained 64 resolution virtual analog oscillators with sine, pulse, triangle and sawtooth waveforms. You have four pole ladder filters, three designated envelope generators for amp, mod and filter and that can be assessed independently or all three simultaneously. We also have eight assignable modulation slots and four additional fixed modulation routings. We have a real-time sequencer with 512 notes with a polyphonic mode, a built-in programmable arpeggiator of 32 steps. We also have three stereo effects engines for chorus, phaser, flanger, tremolo, amongst many others. There are 300 incredible factory programmable patches which are fully editable. A FATAR 61 note keyboard with velocity and channel aftertouch, a four axis joystick that can be assigned with a modulation. We also have multiple keyboard modes including mono, poly, unison 2 to name a few. There is also glide with both legato and staccato modes. All this is enclosed with a steel and aluminium enclosure. So on the back we have two unbalanced quarter inch jack outputs, stereo headphone out, stereo input to route incoming audio, a sustained pedal jack, expression pedal jack, analog clock sync in and out, MIDI and USB. This also comes with free modal app software editor for Mac OS, Windows, iOS and Android. There are also modal plugins which work alongside your door. Okay, so here are my thoughts on this synth. I love the design and build of this instrument. It's sturdy and this reflects in its beautiful patches. I feel that it is really easy to manipulate and to modulate the sounds. Quite often I would start with a patch and by using the multiple waveforms really get some incredible results. But for me, the real action comes when using the tune and fine tune of each waveform. The effects are good, they don't blow my mind, but they're really nice. Um, they have done a great job with the filter envelopes and modulation as well. The filter is bright, the envelopes are on the money in terms of their precision, and the mods are really easy to use and really useful to have 12 modulation slots as four are permanently fixed to note joystick aftertouch and velocity. For me, the crowning glory of this thing is the keybed itself. Now I know you might not need a premium Fatal set of keys, but these are amazing. Such a lovely keyboard to play on.
So the only thing I would change, and this is a minor thing, is the positioning of this screen. Unless you can grow see-through arms, your arms keep getting in the way when you're doing different modulations and changing the effects and stuff. So, is it worth the price tag? Well, it currently retails around £640 and well worth buying. The layout of this is simple, intuitive and really fun. And again, I can't stress enough how good the keyboard is. Anyway, I hope this review has given you an insight into the product and please subscribe, hit like and we look forward to seeing you next time on Keys Review.